brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The experience of rejection is painful. Everyone has experienced rejection at one moment or another. It may be from a dear friend, a lover, a partner, family members or colleagues. The pain becomes all the more intolerable when it is preceded by a selfless action of ours. It deeply hurts our ego. How do we cope up with this rejection? The common answer is of anger or in the least negligence or silence. The proper response to rejection is essential for living an authentic life of a Christian. Jesus gives us the answer to this unavoidable question in today's Gospel. He goes to Gennesaret and cures someone who was a public nuisance. The life of an individual is saved. He is no more a nuisance. The public has to suffer minute damages in comparison with the good he has done. Yet. Jesus is rejected mercilessly. The response of Jesus is unique. He feels obliged to the wishes of people and goes away. The man who is healed wants to accompany him, but Jesus refuses. He sends the man into the midst of the people who rejected him because Jesus knows that they need him and his teaching even though they outrightly refused to allow his presence among them. The proper reaction of Jesus to the people of Gennesaret helps him to win over them to himself through the healed man. This is love. This is kindness. This is the best response to rejection. He becomes the sonifier of his own man. Love your enemy. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. In our lives, too, the same issue continues to happen. We are rejected. Again and again, we are rejected. The painful reality is that we are not rejected by our enemies, but by our dear ones. Let not our evil behind us. At this juncture, we are challenged to offer a similar reaction to those who reject us. With love, we need to remain with them. Love must remain. It must be expressed in a kind word, a small message on social media, preparing good food or a short form call for doing what they love. The command of Jesus to love your enemy has a secondary meaning. That is to say, if we are to love our enemies, how far are we to love our family and friends?